Corn Dog Man here says that being a gay Christian is like being a diesel powered electric vehicle. This is an example of circular reasoning, specifically the no true Scotsman fallacy, and it leads to extreme religious trauma. It's also a well known cult tactic. And to top it all off, it undermines the gospel of Jesus Christ. The no true Scotsman fallacy says, hey, everyone in our group is this specific way. And if anyone in our group is not this specific way, instead of reconsidering or wondering if there are exceptions to this rule or nuance, we'll just insist that they were never part of this group. A great example of this is if a famous preacher decides they're not a Christian anymore and you explain that they actually, even though you looked up to them and you thought they were a prime example of what a person should be and just the perfect Christian, they actually were never a Christian in the first place. But also if someone does something you don't like, then they were never a Christian in the first place. And if someone believes in doctrines you don't like, they were never a Christian in the first place. It's this really arrogant and blazon way to say, hey, everyone who's a Christian is exactly the way I want them to be. And if they're not, then they're actually gonna burn in hell and they're trying to take down God. As you can imagine, growing up in an environment like this can lead to a lot of trauma because people tell you that you should be feeling no anxiety over death because you know you're going to heaven. But at the same time, they keep telling you the people that they knew were going to heaven actually were like evil pretenders the whole time. It's a coward's argument. You can't handle the fact that someone might disagree with you, so you insist that it doesn't count at all.